Shabai, hello everybody. Happy Halloween and happy uh, Bitcoin White Paper Day. It's a little celebration. I'm going to see how quickly I can spin up an LMBit server uh, with a domain name and an SSL certificate and a funding source um, all from scratch. I'm going to hope to do it in about 10 minutes and for less than $5. I'm going to use services which you can pay for using Lightning Network. Um, and I'm also going to try and do it in kind of an anonymous way. This would be great for a pop-up LMBit server, say if you want to run a a uh, Bitcoin meetup or maybe even a conference and you want people to be able to engage with the Lightning Network and experiment with things like LNURL. Or you could have it as part of your business stack if you've got a cafe or a bar and you want to use the point of sale TPOS extension on LNBits. Um, and uh, uh, also you could do SATS back uh, using LNURL extension. Um, or you could have it as part of your stack for your online business if you want to accept Lightning payments, for example. So really great, versatile system and it's very easy to spin up on a VPS, which I'm going to show you right now, because uh, I'm going to do it in a kind of a, a anonymous way. I'm going to use a burner email, so Gorilla Mail's perfect for this. Um, I'm going to be using the wonderful BitClouds for my hosting. There's only two options, it seems, in the world for hosting using uh, Lightning Network, and that is hostforcoins.net by Keto Miner and uh, BitClouds. And both of these options, they're quite new, they're already hitting scalability issues, which is great because it means they're busy and you know they've got a lot of people using their service. So both of them currently are updating their architecture. Um, so BitClouds, if you try and use BitClouds and you can't set up a server, then just honestly wait a few days and they should have the new architecture set up and then they won't have any scaling issues. They can just scale infinitely. So um, I'm going to use uh, set up a, a Debian um, server and the pay an invoice. Uh, to set up a server on BitClouds, it will cost you 420 Satoshis. So I'll pay that now, and that will last you six hours. But you can then top up your um, server for 66 Satoshis an hour. Um, and you can pay uh, for like a full month, for example. And I think for a month it works out at like $6.50. So actually a cheap solution for a, uh, a VPS, to be fair. So we wait for a moment for that to be created. Okay, now I'm going to right click, open a new tab. This does a get request and this gets my server IP address and my password. I'm going to open my terminal. Um, I'm running Linux, so you know I can just do sudo ssh root uh, ooh, at and then the IP address. If you're running this on Windows, you'll have to use something like Putty, but it's very easy to do, so please don't be afraid, and um, just Google, watch a YouTube video on Putty. We're gonna be doing some command line stuff, but don't be scared. So I need to put in my password. Do I accept the fingerprint? Yes, I do. Copy that password, paste it. It'll ask me to change that perfectly good Unix password to my own crappy password and I'm in um, I'm gonna give that a little while to uh, maybe not I'm gonna see if I can sudo apt update because I tr always try and do things too quickly on these virtual private servers and often they're kind of running stuff still setting up in the background when you first open them but I'm just gonna do sudo apt update now if I go to Alan bits and I go to the install guide here there's this script here I just need to run and that'll install LM bits and that'll you know um, install all the requirements we need set up a virtual environment so we install those requirements we're not just installing them globally on the whole server just into kind of a little um, uh, walled area I suppose but I need to install git and vn for virtual env to uh, to do that so I'm going to do that so sudo apt apt is the package manager we're going to be using um, and we'll install git no, sudo apt install. Yes, I want to install that, please. So apt is just the, the thing which installs stuff. Um, good. sudo apt, pat, pat, it's a better name, um, install, and then this is python3 hyphen uh, venv. Okay, let's install that. So now I can run this. Oh, in fact, before I do this and start installing LMBits, 
now I've got my domain, uh, my IP address, I'm actually going to set up my domain name because the NS stuff takes, I'm going to have to log out of this and start again. The, um, uh, the NS stuff, um, the DNS stuff takes a little while sometimes to kind of like configure. So just for speed, I'm going to get my domain name pointed at my IP address as quickly as possible. So I'm going to register for an account. This is AH Names. Uh, this seems to be the only vanilla domain registration service which accepts lightning payments. There is Anjala, which is like a privacy centric service, um, but their domain names are like much more expensive. Uh, there's also Keto Miners, uh, hostforcoins.net. They will sell you a domain name uh, if you raise a support ticket with them, so that's an option. But I wanted kind of just a vanilla automated service, which was cheap as well. Um, so it wants an email. Password. And it's, what, what should we, we should have, the event should be the Bitcoin white paper. And name, Bitcoin white paper. Address. I'm going to put in my address. London, Afghanistan. Um, obviously, if you wanted a more long-term solution, it's probably a good idea to use your actual details and then have that who is privacy thing so people can't see them. Uh, I understand. I consent. Blah, blah, blah. Save. No, don't save. Brilliant. So it should email me. Um, so I'll wait for that email to come through. Two, one, done, check. Not coming through yet. Well, while we're waiting for that email to come through, is it worth running? Oh, no, it came through. There we are. Yeah, stick to one thing at a time. Right, so click on that. Cool. There we are. So, oh, no, no, this is my sign out. <laughs> Um, log in with my new login, which I've completely forgotten what it was. What was it? <laughs> what was it? It was a uh, Bitcoin white paper, wasn't it? Bitcoin white paper and password. Okay. Don't save. All right, cool. I'm in. Um, I'm not going to use this because this is the their new panel, the AH Names new panel. I don't want to use this. I want to use the old one because it seems to be more straightforward to me. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to log in with my new login, which should work. Bitcoin white paper and uh, password. Right. So now I've I've logged into my uh, account at AH Names. I'm going to search for a domain name, Bitcoin. This Bitcoin 2025 thing you're seeing is, is I obviously ran the tutorial um, once over just to get it right. And that's the that's the, the theme I was using for that. But I've decided to switch it to Bitcoin white paper. So click on that. Right. Oh, Bitcoin white paper dot pro. Nice. Oh. It's taking me back up to the top. I'm going to get that. Okay. I'll pay for it. I agree. Make order. Order making. Some uh, nice translation stuff going on in here. Coingate. Pay using lightning, please. Give me an invoice. There we are. So actually says five dollars in my on my wallet, but that's that's fine. It's not much. Okay, payment confirmed. Go back to merchant now. I did find that this doesn't actually register the payment um, to pay for that service, but it does credit the account. So if I go back to payment and then click on that thing again, make order, it will then give me the option to pay with my credit. Here we are. Use credit without depositing. So it has deposits to the funds, but then I need to pay with the uh, with the credit. 
in that second. All right, cool. So now I can go to my panel and I can get that domain name as quickly as possible pointing at my Blit Clouds server. Copy, you can see there it says six hours left on my server. You can always extend that if you want to. So Bitcoin White Paper Pro set to our DNS. So first it tells me to um, set to the, the name servers, to their name servers. So I'm going to do that. Okay, as instructed. This is a thing which kind of takes a little while to register with their system. So that's why I'm doing it now. Then I just get that IP address for my server and I plonk that in there, paste. Then I save it. So all my DNS stuff is set. That domain name is now pointing at that server when eventually you know it you know configures on their system. So while it's configuring on their system, I'm gonna install LM bits and get that running. So I copy this code here. I've already installed Git, I've already installed Venv. Then I paste that in there, it will clone the LM bits repository into a folder called LM bits. It will then go into that LM bits folder. It'll install a virtual environment. Then it will install all the requirements needed for LM bits, which is what it's doing here. Then there's a, um, a file with some variables needed for LM bits to run. So it's going to go copy this file to this environment file, env environment file, which we will edit at some point. Then it's going to, um, migrate all the databases and what's it doing here and then this is you know if i hit enter now it should run allen bits and in fact now i haven't put in my um, payment source so it's just using like a void wallet so i can't actually make a um, general invoices or anything but it's uh, running on the local host um, on this virtual private server which does actually mean that i can just actually just take that paste that there And then there we are, we've got bits. This is Alan bits on our server, which we've just installed and running. But we can't create an invoice because we haven't actually connected it to a payment source yet. Um, it just gives us a 500 hour, so we need to do that. So I'm going to exit out of that. Then I'm going to go, because I'm in the Alan bits folder there on my, on my server, I'm going to do uh, sudo nano. Nano is a text editor, like a you know, command line text editor thing. Dot env. Okay, this is our environment folder here. File, sorry. I'm going to change this to Bitcoin white paper. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin white paper. Um, I might change the default wallet name to Moon Moon Wallet and the data folder. So this is where I want to like store my databases. For example, on the LM bits, this is set up on the hard drive of the LM bits, so you can like, you know, reflash the SD card on the on the on the Raspberry Blitz without losing your information. Um, in because this is a Linux install, I can just do um, uh, root, which is my the username of the you know of, of me on on this VPS, and then that will take me to my home folder at uh, root LM bits LM bits um, and then data. So that is, we've actually got a folder in LM bits. So if it's LM bits and then LM bits again, and then there's a folder called data. So this is why I'm going to st store my databases. This is the actual folder where you know, we specifically put there to store your databases, but you could store them anywhere really. Um, but for, for this you know, tutorial, if you put that in there, you'll be fine. Um, we're going to select, obviously we can use a whole bunch of different payment sources. We're going to be using LM pay because uh, LMP is great actually, it's really stable. Um, and uh, it doesn't require us to, because it's custodial, so it doesn't require us to make any channels or anything, so it's nice and easy. But you can see here, you can use LND, LNT Xbot, C Lightning, Spark Wallet, Open Node. Now, we need some keys to connect to the LMP API. So we're going to register to LMP. I use this uh, email, burner email address again. Um, 
No save. Developers. Now this is, there's an API key here. Uh, server side only API key. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste that in there. Okay. Then we're going to. Um, we also need a wallet admin key. So we're going to go to wallets, create a wallet, and then we're going to take this wallet admin key. Paste that in there. That should be right. I think we've done everything we need to do. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, control X. Save. Yes, please. Enter. So now that's saved. Um, uh, so now, you know, it should. If actually, we'll just, uh, should we just run. In fact, we'll need to rebuild our databases into our new folders, won't we? Into our new data folder, which we pointed it to. So if I go to the install guide, basically we need to like run it the, these lines here. Okay. Again, so I'm just going to paste those in there, and then it should. Please, yeah, there we are. Looks like it built all the databases. Brilliant. And then if I hit enter, then we should be able to. Let's go check it. Um, then go back to Island Bits install. I'll need to make a new wallet again because I've. Um, you know, made new database. I should now be able to create an invoice for an amount, and it should generate an invoice. There you are, cool. So it's plugging into the um, uh, LMPay API, and that's working. Great. You can control C that. Now, for our SSL certificate, we're going to use a piece of software called Caddy, and Caddy is absolutely fantastic. It makes this process so much more easier than it used to be. Um, first, we need to add uh, Caddy as a a source on our VPS, which we've just done. Uh, then we need to sudo apt update. So this will update all the sources on the machine, so we can, yep, you can see the caddy caddy files. I'm up in there. That's an invalid file. Oh, I think I just actually, I think I just, yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. I put a little, <laughs> put I put a little um, hashtag on the end of my source thing. Right now it's added it properly, so I should be able to, there we are. Right, so, uh, caddy's actually running, so I'm going to sudo caddy stop. That's going to stop caddy. Um, sudo stop caddy? Hmm. Oh, I haven't installed it yet. Uh, sudo install caddy. All I've done is, like, said, you know... Here's where you can install it from. Oh, Jesus. And I haven't used app. sudo apt install caddy. Sorry about this. So now I'm going to install caddy. So sudo apt install caddy. That uses the app package manager, package manager to, to install it. Then I do sudo caddy stop to stop it. There we go. Now I'm going to make what's called a caddy file. So sudo nano. Use that text editor nano again caddy file and it's going to make a file called caddy file in our lmbits folder and I'm going to put in the name which I've forgotten of um, of our domain here we go I'm going to put that in there copy paste so when you caddy has a caddy file and it runs it any domain name in there it'll assume that you want an SSL certificate and it will make an SSL certificate for you it's brilliant now we're going to do a reverse proxy to our local host of LMBits running, which was dot 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 zero dot zero dot zero dot zero, and then it's uh, colon five thousand support so five thousand. Okay, I'm going to control X. I say, do I want to save that? I say yes, please. Um, and I should let's try it. sudo caddy start. Okay, started. Brilliant. That all looks pretty good. So it's, um, I'll probably get an error in a second. So it's issued an SSL certificate. There we are. Then it tried to connect to that, uh, to my local host, but it couldn't connect to my local host, obviously, because I'm not running it at the moment, am I? Um, so I need to go here, get this last line. This is the run LM bits line. Hit that. So now LM bits is running on localhost. Um, Caddy is running in the background looking for connections from this domain name 
right? If it gets a connection from this domain name, it's going to point it at localhost, which means, hopefully, and it's also going to issue it with a, an SSL, a, a, a HTTPS thing. So hopefully, if I paste that in there, not that, <laughs> if I paste my domain name, this, please, in there, there we go. BitcoinWhitePaper.pro is now up. It's live. Um, it's got an SSL certificate. I can make a wallet. I can fund that wallet. Create invoice. Uh, whatever. Let's pay it. Hopefully that'll work. Pay. Pay it on my phone. So it should register in a second on... Bitcoin white paper dot pro. Boom, got 15,000 sats. Nice. Uh, I'll show you an actual, this is going to extend the, um, the tutorial, but I'm going to show you quite a cool function, um, which is say if, so currently anyone who has the domain name uh, Bitcoin white paper dot pro is going to be able to set up a wallet and start using me as a custodian. Now, you might not want that. Because, you know, in your jurisdiction, you know, you might have, might be worried about KYC stuff or something like that. Um, so I'm going to sudo nano into um, that .env thing again, All right? Then I'm going to take my user ID, which is this thing here. I'm going to copy it, All right? And then I'm going to go to allowed users. Now this is a CSV thing, so you could do comma separated users. I'm going to save that. I'm just putting one user in, so obviously I don't put any commas. Uh, so Y for yes, and then to write yes, please. Now I'm going to run LM bits again, uh, and it's running. Um, so if I refresh, yeah, you see I can still access my account. Now, if somebody else comes along, takes that URL. So that's up in a wallet, unauthorized. So it creates a user, but that user's unauthorized because it's not the user you specified in that variable. So that's pretty cool. Like if you want to run LM bits just for yourself. Uh, but what's even cooler about that is I can go to manage extensions. I can create like a, a faucet, you know, like an LN URL faucet, for example. Um, uh, and I've got my HTTPS certificate, which uh, LN URL needs, is, needs. So advanced withdraw link title, whatever oh I don't know come on Bitcoin white paper party max withdraw thousand sats thousand sats amount of uses ten uses time between withdrawals just one create withdrawal link now if I click on this here which is I think it says yeah there we are it will give me a link to a public page now this public page is still accessible by anybody because uh, this is for my uh, my faucet. So now if you scan this, you should, unless it's already been um, milked, you should be able to get the uh, the payment. Uh, but you can give this faucet out now. But just by giving this faucet out doesn't mean that someone can then to go along and then use that URL to um, use you as a custodial service. So I'm actually going to leave that like that. I'm going to leave it running. So, you know, um, you should be able to uh, scan this and, um, and pull out some money. But if you go to bitcoinwhitepaper.pro, then you won't be able to set up a wallet. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, and uh, it'll only be running for six hours. So, you know, grab those uh, grab those stats while you can. But I think, I don't know how long that took. Like 20 minutes. So if you've got 20 minutes and $4, then you can spin up LM bits on a virtual private server anonymously all over Lightning um, and, uh, and play around with some of the new cutting edge uh, extensions which are in LM bits. Uh, so thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Um, happy Bitcoin white paper day and also happy crazy price action as well on Bitcoin. Use some of that financial freedom to build cool stuff, run cool stuff and contribute to you know free and open source projects uh, in any way you can. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you again. Cheers.